wanted to take a moment to talk about the chord progression that Johann Sebastian Bach uses to open his masterwork, the St. Matthew Passion. This is from the first opening chorus, Kommt ihr Tochter? And it's a beautiful progression. I refer to it often in my own improvising, and it really brings out this feeling of prolongation where we're achingly not reaching a five chord that's going to take us to one. We keep drifting, in some cases, much further along. So the progression is, in in its simplest form, E minor. Here's E minor, just seventh and eighth fret, fifth and second strings. I guess we'll put a third voice in there, the B on the ninth fret of the fourth string. First inversion B7 type, 6th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret. Now there's a sense in which E is going to give over its power. It's going to weaken itself by including its flat 7. So we've come from E minor. If we just went to B7, back to E minor. E minor would rule, rule the roost, but E minor says, well, here I am, here's my five chord, and then instead of insisting on some other kind of E minor, Bach starts drawing us away. E minor, B7, this is E7, with a flat nine. So five, six, four, six, if you want. And that E7 is the five of A minor. So we've gone from E minor to B7 to E7 flat nine. A minor. Now that bass note, he's going to use use that bass note. This is going to be the five of B seven. This is F sharp seven, with A sharp in the bass. So first inversion is one of Bach's very favorite things. E minor, B seven, E seven. That law leads us to B7. This is 6, 4, 6. If you want to add the voice on the second string, the flat 7, you can. There's E. So A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, E. And B7, 7, 7, 8. On strings 6, 4, and 3. E7, A minor, F sharp 7, B7, and this is what goes on in Baroque improvisers' minds. You do have to think of these things, you have to have a bass line in mind or if you can develop the ability to improvise a good bass line. But I find these already tried and true formulas to be really good ones to begin to work off of, because there's so much variety you can get with inversions and different registers of voicings, etc. the same 
progression. E minor, B7, E7, to A minor. F sharp seven, with a flat nine. B7 to E minor. So that's the very powerful opening chords from Compte et Tochte from St. Matthew's Passion. I'll put a link down below. I hope this has been of some interest to you and perhaps some inspiration as well. I would encourage you to become familiar with Bach's just transcendent masterpieces, St. Matthew Passion, St. John Passion, The Art of Fugue, Musical Offering, Goldberg Variations. It goes on and on, but uh, particularly those late works like The Passions and The Art of Fugue, if you're interested in this kind of improvising, y you cannot go wrong listening to recordings of The Art of Fugue, either in for organ, harpsichord, uh, string quartet. Uh, I've heard a great one from reed quintets. Uh, there's so many recordings available of the Art of Fugue, and it's all based on that theme rules the entire work, and it's over an hour long, and this theme is played Played backwards, it's inverted, it's in retrograde, retrograde inversion, upside down and backwards. Every which way Bach liked to explore the material and really dig underneath and get the most out of it. So if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have suggestions for other things you'd like to hear me to speak on, please let me know. If you can like, comment, and share this video, that helps the channel grow and find other people. If you know people who might like this kind of material, please pass it on to them. And I really appreciate your kind attention and wish you a very good day.